Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Coach Rock here from Revenge Basketball. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a few things you can do to strengthen your ankles, to prevent ankle sprains, things like that, so that you don't get injured. Obviously, no matter how good you are, if you're always injured, you can't play. There's no 100% cure to stepping on somebody's foot that happens. What we can do is, to the best of our ability, we can strengthen our ankles. So if something like that happens, either one, our ankles don't bend that much, they don't roll over that much, and if they do roll over, it's not that serious. It's easy to recover from, and we're not really out that long because they're so strong, they can kind of withstand it. Now, the first tip before we even get to any exercises is to get rid of ankle braces, okay? Ankle braces, it's like you're training your foot to always walk in a boot. So when you don't have them, your ankles become really fragile, and then it gets to the point that even when you have them, your ankles think that is gonna support your foot, so your ankles really become weak and they rely only on that brace. And then your ankle is only as strong as that brace is. So you're gonna have really weak ankles. This is something that I suffered from, like my whole high school career, I was taught by my coaches and stuff that you need ankle braces so you don't sprain your ankles and things like that. And just so happened, I always sprained my ankles even with ankle braces on. I had high ankle sprains, low ankle sprains, every ankle sprain in a book that you could think of. And then I made a mistake though. Don't make this mistake. Immediately when you stop using ankle braces, your ankles are going to be weak. So if you've been using ankle braces for months, don't just stop today and then start playing. You need time to strengthen your ankles. It's like, I don't know if you've ever broken a bone or anything, but I broke my wrist before and I had a cast on. So the whole time my wrist was in this cast, it was weak because it couldn't move. It couldn't be strengthened or anything. When I took the cast off, my whole arm was skinny. You can even probably see the scar right here I have from when I broke my wrist. But that's kind of what happens when your feet are in ankle braces. It's not as dramatic or as like crazy as a cast because a cast you can't move. But an ankle brace, essentially your ankles aren't really moving. So your ankle muscles don't have to work. So they get weak. And if you're practicing playing every day with ankle braces on, you're going to get weak. All right. So again, with that being said, you want to get rid of ankle braces but you wanna do it slowly. You wanna do it, summertime's a great time to do it because what I would do is I would work on doing the exercises I'm about to show you and I would practice maybe playing by myself, doing plyometrics and all that stuff without ankle braces, even without shoes. So you really strengthen your feet, strengthen your ankles. So by the time next season comes, you won't need braces, but you don't wanna just stop using ankle braces right now and then run and play because your ankles are weak and you're very likely to have an ankle injury. All right. So la last thing I'll say about that, because I'm kind of going on a little rant about this, but it's important because it's one of the things that I wish if I could go back in time, it's one of the things that I would have never used an ankle brace ever. It's one thing to use it if you sprain your ankle and you're trying to play in a game, the next game, and you need a little extra support. It's one thing to use it then. So the last thing I'll say is if you do have to keep playing, let's say you play AAU, right? And you have tournaments on the weekends and you don't feel safe without ankle braces. What I would do is train the whole week without ankle braces and then still use them for the game until you can get to the point where you can slowly get off them. So it's not just like overnight, you're not using them anymore. I would work my body out without them because a lot of players, this is the problem. They play every day in practice, all day, every day in ankle braces. Season comes, they're in ankle braces. Summertime, they're playing all the time in ankle braces and their ankles are pretty much super weak. All right, so make that transition if possible. Now let's kind of get into the second phase of the video, which is some exercises you can do now that you've gotten rid of the ankle braces, now that you're really trying to strengthen your feet, your ankles. So the first thing you want to do is walk on. I would do this without shoes, but I don't feel like taking my shoes off because I have other videos I have to film. But I would do this without shoes, all right? You're going to walk on the side of your feet like this. So what I would do is just walk back and forth like that. So this is training your feet to be in this position. All right. So if you accidentally roll your ankle, it's like your feet has trained this position. So it's not that foreign to it and it won't be that bad period if you so happen to get in that position. All right. The next one we're going to do is we're going to walk backwards, but we're going to walk on our toes. Try to stay on the outsides of our feet here. 
So you're not putting all your pressure on your big toe because you don't want your feet to collapse. You're trying to keep your pressure on the outside toes here. All right. Walking backwards. Work those. Now, the next thing, this is one of my favorite things to do is single leg deadlifts. You can start by just doing body weight, right? What we're doing is breaking out our hip. We're balancing on this foot. This is really all we're doing here. Balancing on our foot. And you're gonna feel, I'm feeling the burn right now. Over time, you can get to the point where you can do this, then jump a little, try to stabilize. That stabilizing is gonna force these muscles to work very hard. And you would do that on both sides. All right, so you can do that like, think about this when you're so soaping up in the shower, right? You gotta soap up your leg. This is what I do, like I soap up my leg, but I practice just getting in this position. Boom, boom. Focus balance, so you're not just like this. But that's just a whole nother extra time. When I tie my shoe, you can maybe tie your shoe. Just try to implement this as much as possible. Work those parts of your leg that you probably have never worked before, especially if you've been in ankle braces, all right? And sorry for all the ankle brace companies because I hope this don't mess up your sales. All right, um, the next thing we're gonna do, take a band, but you can use a towel. I like bands better because they're a little more, they're easier to move around, they're easier to take with me to the gym, to traveling or anything. So you can get it, bands they are not that expensive. First one we're gonna do is these dorsiflexion. There's like, they're not really stretches, they're like exercises here. We're just pushing out here. That's all we're doing. All right, the next thing we're gonna do I'm just gonna bring my foot up so you can see it. You can either do these like right here or you can do them from sitting, it's really up to you. Actually, I like doing this one laying because you actually get a better stretch. So here, notice how I'm bringing my foot in. Now the next thing you wanna do, you could use a wall for this, but I'll just do it right here. So you just wanna practice stretching, just getting that knee, you, what you're trying to do is just get more mo mobility in your ankle area. So boom. Trying to, is it sometimes easier if you have a wall? Like I'll be holding a wall right here. Another variation you can do of this is if you're just right here, put your pressure. And then you would switch. So those are things that you can do to really improve your ankle strength, okay? And really the best thing that you can do is play outside barefoot. This is gonna work your feet. So you don't really have to play outside barefoot, but let's say you have like a field, be sure, cause it could be dangerous sometimes if you don't know what's in the grass or stuff. But if you're in your backyard and you know there's no glass or anything back there, just do some things in the back. Do all these exercises barefoot outside, practice doing a few sprints barefoot practice doing some pogo jumps barefoot just practice doing things barefoot try to be with no shoes on more because again ankle braces are like again like i said in the beginning like casts for your ankles pretty much shoes are a similar thing they're not as bad as ankle braces but that's why when i usually do videos and stuff i like to do it in low tops because it's not as high tops can be a little more of a cast and yeah so be sure to strengthen your ankles work on them so that you can play on the court more so that you can stay healthy throughout the season as you keep playing if you found this video helpful and you are looking to take your game to the next level definitely be sure to check out our training it's at revengebasketball.com youtube i'll show you my three biggest secrets to become an elite player on the court. I'll put that link in the comments for you. I'll pin it there, so be sure to check that out. If you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up for me, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, any video ideas that you would like to see here on the channel, definitely let me know. Last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Until next time, I'll see you then.